Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing fine and safe. My name is Nirjana Banikya, legal intern at Lexis and Company. Today, I'll be discussing about a topic from the Criminal Procedure Code 1973. So today we'll be discussing on the topic um, section 20 to 23 of the Criminal Procedure Code 1973, which is found to deal with executive magistrate. Now let us start with the first section, section 20, executive magistrate. For every dis district, the state government will appoint as many executive magistrate as it considers fit. Now out of this executive magistrate, the state government will appoint one executive magistrate as the district magistrate. Similarly, for every uh, district, the state, the state government will appoint one or more executive magistrate as the additional district magistrate. Now, um, the question is what is the power of the district magistrate or the additional district magistrate? Let us see. So guys, the power of the additional district magistrate is exactly the same as that of the uh, district magistrate. Now comes the next section that is section 21 special executive magistrate. Let us see what is it. The state government will appoint as many special executive magistrate as it considers fit. Now, I am saying this repeatedly, considers fit, considers fit. What does it mean when I say considers fit? If you know the answer, kindly type, kindly write the uh, answer in the comment box. Now, guys, what will this uh, special executive magistrates do? The special executive magistrates will perform special functions in uh, particular territories or area. The term of the special executive magistrate will be as prescribed by the government. Um, government here means the state government because as they are appointing it, uh, appointing them, so they have the power to, you know, uh, prescribe their terms as well. So I hope till now everything is clear. The first section, that is section um, twenty, uh, executive magistrate. Section 21, Special Executive Ministry. Now let us discuss about the next section, that is Section uh, 22, and that is uh, that's, uh, this, that says about the local limits. Now let us see what is it. Section 22 of the Criminal Procedure Code 1973 is found to deal with local limits. The district magistrate under the control, under, under the general control, will decide the uh, local limits of jurisdiction of the um, executive magistrate. Now guys, let us discuss about the next section and the last section for today. That is section 23. Section 23 of the CRPC 1973 is found to deal with subordination of executive magistrate. Now guys, do you all have uh, like any idea under whose subordination is a uh, um, you know exec executive magistrate? Well, for every district, the uh, executive magistrate is the subordinate of the district magistrate. At last, before ending this video, I would like to discuss about the various classes of criminal courts so that you know, uh, whatever I discussed earlier will be more clear. So, the classes of criminal courts, like we have first the Supreme Court. And, then, uh, and under the Supreme Court, we have the Chief uh, Justice of India and the other judges. Similarly, under the High Court, we have the Chief Justice, not of India, because obviously for, for High Courts, it is the Chief uh, justice of the state and uh, the other judges. Now for the session court or uh, court of session it is also co called the court of session. So we have the session judge, 
additional session judge and then we have assistant session judge then we have the um, court of judicial magistrate uh, number one is for first class and number two for second class now guys let us discuss the first class so in the first class we have the chief judicial magistrate um, uh, additional chief judicial magistrate assistant chief judicial magistrate first class judicial magistrate and the last is um, special judicial magistrate and in the second class we have the second class judicial magistrate and the special judicial magistrate guys in india uh, this judicial magistrate uh, you know uh, in the metropoli metro metropolitan areas uh, or the metro metro cities this uh, judicial magistrates are also called as metropolitan magistrate it is the same thing but the just the names are different and lastly we have the executive magistrate so under the court of executive magistrate we have the district magistrate additional district magistrate the executive or uh, i mean the chief executive magistrate and lastly we have the uh, special executive magistrate and with this i would like to end today's topic i hope you learned from it and for more legal topics legal discussion stay tuned at lexley stay home stay safe thank you for watching